and I'm a cancer survivor. Through my landmark education, self-expression leadership program community project, I invite you to become miraculous and transforming. I was diagnosed with leukemia in 1997. After several unsuccessful treatments to place me in remission, I was advised to undergo a life-saving bone marrow transplant. However, there were no family members who were a match for this procedure, so my doctors turned to the National Marrow Registry. Luckily, a donor was found and the transplant date was set. Although the transplant was to take place at Fred Hutchison Cancer Center, the donor's bone marrow was harvested in California and then flown to Seattle, Washington. It has been 12 years since my transplant and I remain cancer free. I am living a full life having raised my three children and having embarked on a new career. I am ever grateful for my second chance at life. Both my donor and I eagerly awaited the day we could actually meet each other. That day finally came in February 2000 when my donor flew from California to Dallas, Texas. Our reunion was incredibly moving, touching, and inspiring because at long last I was able to physically embrace the person who saved my life simply by being willing to become a member of the National Marrow Registry. Unfortunately, because of the inability to find a matched donor, many people are unable to undergo a transplant in time to save their lives. This is particularly so for individuals with ethnically diverse heritage because these populations are vastly underrepresented on the registry. Another barrier to finding donors is cost related. Typically, the donor incurs a cost of approximately $100 to become a member in the registry, a cost that may not be affordable. I am dedicated to placing more people on the National Marrow Registry by raising funds to sponsor potential donors for membership. My goal is simple. When a match is needed, a donor will be there on the National Marrow Registry for every person regardless of their ethnicity. You can become miraculous and transforming by making a tax-deductible contribution to this life-saving project. Please visit my website www.morelivesaved.org That's www.morelivesaved.org Thank you. Now live, this is NBC5, the Texas News Channel. And all this month, we've been bringing you stories about cancer in our month-long series, Cancer Taking Action. Tonight, the incredible reunion of a Dallas mother and a woman who saved her life. I am a cancer survivor of leukemia. Pam Selby Moore is a cancer survivor today, but in August of 1998, she was fighting for her life, dying of leukemia. I was told at that time that I really needed to consider a bone marrow transplant to survive. A bone marrow transplant was her only hope. And now for the first time, she's about to meet the woman who gave her the chance to live. As the plane pulls up to the gate, Pam and her children wait anxiously with the sign. And then, the reunion Pam thought she might never see. I want you to meet the most special person on earth. I'm just so happy to meet you. <laughs> we waited a long time to do this. Lisa Boydson decided to become a bone marrow donor after losing a nephew to leukemia. It's so easy. It's not that big a deal. If it can save somebody's life, it's well worth it. But never knew whose life she had saved until six months ago. It's like winning the lottery, matching up with somebody. <laughs> And now that these two women are finally meeting face to face, they'll be able to share stories about an incredible bond that truly meant the difference between life and death. And I'm leukemia free still. And as you just heard Pam say, she just received another update from her doctor and is still leukemia free a year and a half after that bone marrow transplant.